Well, thank you, Matsumara. So, what's the deal with Zalato's new eyes? Are they... They are a proud creation we made through the combined techniques of we crafters. We had plenty of budget to work with, too. I see. So the request was to create prosthetic eyes for Zalato. With those new eyes, maybe he'll be able to be see what he couldn't see before. Yeah! <laughs> what? Zalato? What? No, really? What in the world are you doing here? Oh, are we his brother? Why are you here, Quetzalcoatl? Yeah, we are his brother. Quetzalcoatl, there's no way that... Do you have any idea how worried I was about you, brother? Brother? Is this about those memories again? I'll ask the questions here. I want an explanation, and... Huh? But that voice... That's it. That, no, it can't be. Ariston? No way. You were quits Al Coadle this whole time? Oh, well, I, I don't know how to address you from now on. I don't know what's happening between you two, but can we put that aside for now? I think we have company. All right, this little fatty tiger. Those juicy boobs. Let's go take care of this piece of work first. Hola, welcome to the quadrivilatero. Allow us to reintroduce ourselves. This song. We are the vanguard of the Politing Warfarers Guild, the Warmongers. And I, I am a luchador from El Dorado known as Hombre Tigre. How many times are you gonna introduce yourself, you fucking dumb shit? <laughs> With a terrible kid. <laughs> Subscribe to our fan club, amigos! Amigos! Hombre Tigre wings, flashing a cocksure smile at his audience. Yeah. And Matsumara stares at the whole show with his mouth agape, then snaps back to his wits. Huh? I got distracted for a second there. They looked so harmless, I was dumbfounded. So, this is, uh, Hombre. He's the leader? No, the one inside of him, I believe. Eric tells Matsumara about the black smoke like shadow creature. I'm gonna join the fan club! Obviously. Welcome to the family! We'll see you at the fan club meet and greet! Homer <laughs> Tigre grabs his chest in what seems to be a combination of agony and ecstasy and fights to keep his breath under control. Ah! Ah! My heart is beating hard! Ah, I see! I see! My son wishes for a battle to the limit! I was a sacrifice offered to you that day. Here's my body as you please! My Super Estrella, the Great Tuscatli Puka! Vivo Tuscatli Puka! The surrounding wrestlers shout and praise the same name. Tuscatli Puka? Zolotl reacts to the name, taking a closer look at Homer Tigre. Do you know them, Zolotl? You of all other shit. Oh wait, I forgot. You don't remember anything. No, I know how loose Fuge feels. This is so frustrating. It's like someone you know is mixed up with someone else that you also know. <laughs> Let's leave it be for now, Zalo. Can you follow us in on what you know? Alright, um... This Katlipok is Quetzalcoatl's, um, mine too. He's our brother. He's the black sun that shines over El Dorado. And what's more, he's Quetzalcoatl's an eternal rival. Ah, I see. Those two have been fighting against each other for a long time, and... Homer Tiga takes out an object which casts an inverted glow, pulling it up. The Sunstone! This piece of our sun with a calendar etched into it. That's dark matter! It traps light of memories. Yeah! Homer Tiga's breath becomes rapid, letting the black smoke leak from his mouth. That black smoke is a sign that he is the Nahual of Tezcatli Puka, no doubt about it! What now, Nahual? Tezcatli Puka, sacred artifact, is the smoking obsidian mirror. That black smoke is shared among those sac sacrificed to Tezcatli Puka, turning them into his avatars, his Nahuales. Judging from what he said, Homer Tigre offered his heart to Tezcatli Puka. So it took over his body then. In that case, the real ba battle starts now. But don't. 
But I'm, but I'm, but I'm. Homer Taker's heart beats so hard that everyone can hear it. But after a particular loud beat, Homer Taker slowly begins to move forward. Thanks for watching, fans. See, I'm your super Estrella. Tuscatli Polka? Viva Tuscatli Polka! <laughs> That's it? No, this intensity is completely different from before. You're, you're right. It's the same as a searcher. I don't know if we can beat him. Is that what the memories residing inside you indicate? And maybe that you remember your hierarchy from that world. The black smoke controlling his body is the Scatly Poker, the world representative of Eldorado, right? The 23 worlds of representatives. My brother and father were of the same denomination. Be careful, everyone. This Catley Poco is a mirror. If a part of the smoking mirror is inside of him, then this Catley Poco will copy that wrestler's characteristics and fighting style perfectly, pushing its limits even further. Vamos! Let's get this fiesta started! Homer Tigger's uniform transforms and rubber core shoots her out the, the workshop like the threads of a spider web. Step into the ring of battle. Know that you cannot escape this faded fight. God, that hurts so good. Let's Lucha! <laughs> ah! Wow! The impact that hits you is like that of a violent wind. Hubbard Taker closes in on you in the blink of an eye, and you are sent sprawling. <laughs> Art catches you and the others with their chains and wraps the tip of another around his healing mane, breaking their fall. Is everyone alright? Yeah, but that speed is ridiculous. What was that speed? How could he move so fast? It seems like you rushed us, but what really happened is that we are pulled in. Hey, the lens. It's the right match for the gameplay. His rubber sacred after grab grabbed us and drew us towards him. It looks like we were alright, though. It looks intimidating, but it didn't hurt too much. Are you alright, Harrison? Ugh. What's wrong? Ugh. What is this? It's like I've been hit with something directly in my skull while passing by. Ugh. Ugh. Remember all of the battles we fought, amigos? We are now living in an eternal war! Memory warfare. The rubber cord is enveloped in, in smoke, surrounding and clouding your mind like a veil. Within that smoke, you see. This is. It's the same as before. Holy fuck. Oh god. Are you fucking kidding me? More memories of me dying? The memory is a vivid, realistic recollection of that which has passed. This memory mirrors the time Toki became a battle zone through which you and your friends are forced to fight. So that was when Tadatoma burned me up. <laughs> and when Ryoto and... Oh fuck. Mired in hatred, everyone fought and killed one another until corpses lined the streets. Even the hands of your fellow summoners were stained with crimson. Before your very eyes, you watch the memory of your friends being cut down by the warmongers. Okay, so it's not the memories of my friends coming, it's just the fan. Our retaliation against them. So, you finally understand. We are your enemies. Stand up and vanquish your foes. Your true opponent is inside this enclosed ring. Uh, they killed Kurogani, Takumaru, and Hephaestus? Mistress Hakuman! No! I couldn't save her! I failed again! The memories of losing their loved ones make Amatsumaro and Zelada collapse to their knees. Mother. Father. Brother. No! Huh? 
arson. That is the path that someone else took. Even if it did happen before. Don't base your choices on another life. Arson. That's what I was once told. That's what my friends taught me. Arson. Shino. God damn it. No more fighting for revenge. Forget about those who've wronged you. Don't fight it just because you were hurt. We all have unknowingly inherited the memories of others. One day, our own will be passed down to others still. You can decide the shape of your own world depending on whether you think of it as a blessing or a curse. We are all born with a role of our own. Whether or not we let it bind us, however, is up to us. We fight to stop history from repeating. We fight to ensure our features. We decided, once before, to fight on. Everyone carries their own burdens, but they must continue to live on. The genociders are no different from us. Rather than stopping in our tracks, we should turn we should all turn our focus to the future that lies ahead. <laughs> you will never break our spirits. This This won't discourage us. We have other options. Harrison. The reverting loop in which the six words were trapped. That was which was lost in reality. Arik remembers now that which only exists in memory and squeezes their chains tightly. Tiscatli Poka, if you can show us the past. Amri Tigre, or rather Tiscatli Poka, stares at you as though he is caught in remembrance. If you're gonna spam me mem memories, show me what caused all this. Show me how to stop it. Okay, cool. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what was I about to say? What was I? Hmm, how does it leak sound? Mm -hmm. I don't want to get strong. They are simply trying to taunt us. Poorly, I might add, but nevertheless. Simply put, their aim is too obvious. They're using memories of past loops to provoke us. In a roundtable conference room, summer in Minato Ward. Members of the Tycoon silently agree to the Guildmaster's words. In addition, two members of the summer is sent next to Leeks as his guests. Esteemed allies, what are your thoughts on this event? We are agreed. A strategist thinks that to be like very likely. Those who call themselves the world representatives do not see any be uh, beyond their ranks as a threat. Leak nods and turns towards the gathered members of the Rapongi Guild. Sa, so, let us gather our thoughts on this chaotic situation. We now have three guilds containing world representatives to contend with. They can keep records of the memories of previous loops. Furthermore, those with pillar of sacred artifacts are able to show the memories of past loops they possess to others. This puts those three guilds in an overwhelmingly advantageous position over us in terms of information warfare. Their methods go beyond what's capable through the app alone. By such means, they have conquered almost all organizations of note. All of Tokyo's government branches, law enforcement agencies, military factions, terrorist groups. Those representatives now have a strong influence on all organizations that hold and enforce legal and militaristic power. Law enforcement? I see. Toji looks away as if recalling his own past. Ha! Ah, however! The way the three factions use their information differs. Let's look at how they vary. The West selectively spreads information that is favorable to them, breaking existing guilds head on and expanding their own influence. So, through memory assault. Currently, the Ikebukuro Berserkers are their main target. The East, on the other hand, monopolize information, keeping it well concealed to ensure their superiority on that front. 
They haven't taken any aggressive actions yet, aside from the incident in Otomachi, of course. The Ioma, the Ioma, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. the Ioyama missionaries are being hit hard, but we, the Rupangi Guild, have not yet suffered any significant damage. Of course you haven't, because they're under your guidance. Lee. And that's oh, so he's the South, and that's the the South, who are trying to take over other guilds from the shadows. They call themselves the Invaders. The guild consists of conquerors, aggressors, revolutionaries, or so I've heard. So the main three are the Warmongers, uh, Utopia, which may be a location or maybe a guild, I'm not sure, and the Invaders. Haven't notable members of Rapongi Tycoon suffered at their hands? The invaders, just hearing the name makes me sick. Leaders of the Rapongi Guild who suffered massive financial losses prior to this meeting slammed their fists on the table, grinding their teeth in anger. You have no idea how much we've lost to that string of hostile takeovers. When an enemy with vastly more information than us engages in cyber and economic warfare, we are forced to go on a defensive. Our security is compromised. Meanwhile, their knowledge of what's to come in stocks and shares has beat us. <laughs> Therefore, let us talk about our retaliation. These words settled the room. Retaliate? But by what means? <laughs> if they know everything that will happen, then we must invent a new situation that has never happened before. But, ah, this is what your good master has told me, summoners. Lucifuge, will you do the honors? Gladly. Lucifuge snaps his fingers, and a small figure appears behind him. Kotaro? Hi! What can I do for you today? Kotaro Kazama! Hey, Tadatomo! It's been a while! The Akasaka agents have disbanded. What are you doing here? Hasn't your contract ended? It seems you have some explaining to do, too, Tadatomo. What did you say? Well, I do owe Rapongi Guild a favor or two. Besides, he should know well enough that a ninja's job is never done. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> we plan to establish an intelligence core with the two elite ninja at the core, and to man manipulate the information regarding our activities. Oh <laughs> God, leak! Yes, you did. You did it. <laughs> two elite ninja. <sighs> All right, time for real information warfare. This is where it begins. This is where we decide to deceive them. Information manipulation? Won't they have a plan for that? Ah, uh, I see. That's where our trump card comes in, isn't it? Whoa, ho, 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 ho. Exactly! I'm glad you catch on so quickly, Lady Hockman. The final member of the circle of the six Skycrakes member owners of the Rapongi Guild. We shall ask that joker of the Rapongi Guild, our race and hole, to join us. The six Skycraper owners. Okay, so we have uh, leaked Hockman. I'm assuming like they're like the leader leaders. Leaked, Hakiman, uh, Lucifuge, Ophion, uh, Sasa maybe would be considered one? I'm not sure. And the fifth one would have to be a mystery. Or the sixth one. Mm. Rapongi's guild members all around the table roar in response to the leaked words. <laughs> of course, there's a second Joker in our deck. Air Toji, may I have a word? To what do I owe the pleasure, Guildmaster? Deep calls for Toji to join him as he makes his way out of the room after the meeting has ended. Ah, I couldn't help but say so at the meeting, but there's one more important factor regarding the success of our mission. That is, your support, Toji Sakimori of the Summoners. Mine? Why couldn't you say so during the meeting? Elementary, my dear Toji. I simply couldn't. The sound of the invaders have a resource, some who can alter memories. Whoa, whoa. I mean, that's to be expected, so. Leet. Lay it out on me. Explain to me everything. What? As such, anyone who comes into contact with them should be deemed a potential spy. Do you think someone present at the meeting had their memories altered? That is precisely what I think, which is where your ability comes into this equation. My ability? What ability? Your ability to create a barrier between your memories and those of others. That will greatly influence your fates. Hmm. 
This situation grows more chaotic by the hour, but you can hardly tell a friend from foe. Yet I have a faith in your guildmaster you can see us through this. Ah, uh, Addison. Go to that. Okay. At the battle part two. Hmm. One night, under a sky brimming with shooting stars, I opened a book while sitting outside this old school building. It was as if my soul was cut off, my hollow eyes reflecting nothing but the words in the book. I was not alone. Mr. Mononobe was sitting next to me at that time. You must have a lot of free time to keep me company. Oh, but I enjoy doing this. I've always liked gazing up at the stars and the company of a good book. After saying that, Mr. Mononobe turned his eyes to the book in his lap. It was a book about stars. I didn't know how to reply, so I returned to reading the book of the Psalms I was holding. You really do like books? Yes, I do. After all, books. Books make me feel secure. They tell me all that I want to know. Humans repeat their mistakes. Humans repeat their mistakes, so studying the past will let you predict the future. If you follow what the books say, you can know what will happen. And most importantly, books never hurt me. Is that your hate of others, Furufumi? Or are you simply afraid of them? Mr. Momonobi, the books all say the same. They keep records of all the atrocities and horrible mistakes that humans have made throughout history. This world is filled with scary things, dangerous things. It's filled with things that hurt me, things that point their fingers and laugh at me. I'm afraid of this world. Only enemies exist in it. And so it pains me. It's filled with hardships, grief, sadness, betrayal. It terrifies me. Furufumi, what are these enemies you are talking about? They're... Those who hurt me, those who mock me, those who pity me, and... Ah, I see. There is something I must teach you, Furufumi, as an educator. I'll let you in on a secret that most adults don't even know. You can choose your own enemies. No, that is not true. There will always be those who want to hurt me, even if I don't do anything to them. You're right. I'm sure you're surrounded by problems like that. Huh? You're contradicting yourself. You said... What I want to tell you is that you don't have to consider those sorts of folks as your enemies. Those you call your enemies treat you like so for their own reasons. Some would hit you and say it's for your own good. Others would hurt you, saying it's for everyone's benefit. They just want to keep you in your place. But don't get caught up in, by those thoughts. You just need to walk away, go wherever you want to go. You're not obligated to follow the rules of their worlds for even a second. You're not obligated to pay attention to the opinions that come out of the, their worlds. Ugh. But... But even so... What if I can't find somewhere I want to go? Then what? In that case, you can take your time to think, as long as you're in this academy. Schools exist for that reason. Hmm. I want you to remember one thing. Your heart belongs to you, and only you, even if you think you've left it behind somewhere. Only you can decide what your heart desires. What's more? Mr. Mononobe. Looking back on that day, Furufumi recalls the title of the book. Ars Almadel Salomonis. That was his book? That is the title of the book Mr. Mononobe was reading. It is the name of something that spreads across the universe, covering the world, or so he says. Hmm. It is a book compiled by ancient astrologers, telling that which is revealed by the myriad 
lights that watch over this world. If you can show us the past, I want to know how it came to this. We mean to stop it from happening again. Hmm. This Katli Poco stares at you through Homer Tigro's eyes. Ah, uh, we promised on that day. I remember. My father was a man who lived for war. I never witnessed it, but I must assume he soaked his hands and blood back in his homeworld. Yet, deep inside, I sense this aura. He longed for the, the, that future which lies beyond the scope of war. So, warmongers, we are not going to fall for your poor attempt at provocation. Even if you try to tempt us to hate, we will not hate. I swear on my father's pride and my mother's tears. If you claim to know the past, th then we demand that you show us how and why of this war. Share with us visions of the unfolding of this war in Tokyo. Show us the impetus behind all these horrific scenes you have plagued everyone with. Though neither Humber Tiger nor Scally Poker dispenses any orders, the rest will surround you all at once in a trained manner. In fact, even more enforced the spirit and slowly begin to corn you and your allies. Yet despite the certain death that looms beyond the situation, our commands to Scally Poker was pure dignity. Yeah, <laughs> what an impressive show. I'm starting to like you two more and more. Amatsumara stands tall and grips a sacred artifact, praise falling from his lips. When we come out of this victorious, I'll temper your weapons myself. I would be honored if we all make it out of this alive. <laughs> Do you really think this will end well? Oh no, more of them are coming. Your team is burnt out and the warmongers are calling for more backup. You are heavily outnumbered. You know that you have no chance against the Scatly Poka. When you are at an absolute disadvantage, there's no options for escape. The impossible occurs. So, what? Oh, it's Rick! <laughs> what? It can't be! S searcher? No. That's. No! I was a summoner, and I know that is not father. But that secret artifact, that black helmet is definitely his. The helmet sacred artifact shines as though the wielder is its rightful owner. What is going on? Ah! Ah! Yeah! Search's sword cuts down wrestlers, one after another. Then... He's transforming, isn't that? Oh my god, it's Azusa too! <laughs> Going for the full performance, sir? Uh? Oh my god, I miss him. I miss everyone. Chino. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> what? Azusa? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Been a while, huh? You are wrong, you still suck at provoking your enemies. <laughs> Don't you think that's so? Tuscali Poka? What? No battle? Lame. Death boundary. One battle. Finally facing Homer Tigray. I'm thinking... That... You're not actually doing much, Jacob, so I'm just gonna switch back to... Uh... Meridian... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait. Hype. Maybe I should pick a... A story-based team. Hmm... What's this kid again? I know, like, he's probably the worst in general, but in this case, he might be good, since they're all blue. Yeah, he might be decent. Mm, this team won't be very strong. Whatever, I have Kotara. It's fine. Hey, it's the mouse man, the sweeper. It took me long enough to find you, Cleaner. I had to spend a pretty pit coins on the search. The helmet answers Nomad instead of the sound cyborg. You? I've heard of you. You must be that. Private Eye from Shinjuku. Hmm. So you've been looking for us? Well, 
What can we do for you? We're pretty busy, so unless you're planning on hiring us, please keep it short. Oh, sure. Yeah, I'll keep it real short. If you answer honestly. Who modified that body of yours? And what will you do if I tell you? What will I do? I'm going to find that one who turned me into an ugly beast and rip him a new one. <laughs> I've seen future technologies that come from the same origin, or are even far more advanced than my acceleration device. Like that time travel technology you used in Chiyoto Ward that's far more advanced than mine. Like, I'm trying to remember Nomad's voice, but I only remember his like, major hit damage from his Island Raiden. Which, and then he's just like, basically gasping for air there. <laughs> Ah, so you're there for the big cleanup, I see. I'm convinced that the one who modified us must be the same. Hmm. I'll ask again. Who has refined your modifications? You're going to tell me everything, cleaner. Whoa, whoa, so aggressive. Quit your hissing, kitty. You resent your modifications, I suppose. See, we don't. I guess, um... I don't really know how to answer that. Huh? Pathetic. Revenge will grant you no relief. What? Ugh. The cleaner moves behind Nomad before he even knows what's going on. Damn. So that's what an upgraded time travel device can do? Nomad grants his teeth and chagrin. You're trying to show me my acceleration device is obsolete, huh? Older than you, it doesn't matter. Our approach to the future is different. Approach to the future? You sound smarter than you look, Cleaner. Well, what do you look at that? It's quite the oddity to hear you speak more than two sentences. Sorry, buddy. Sensing the sharp stares of the other two, the Cleaner apologizes. Sorry, P.I. I can't seem to keep up these... Uh, th these cups from my lips. But I agree with my buddy here. Your revenge is... Meaningless. It's just futile. Yeah, seeing that cute line form, do it for the price. All right, someone who looks identical to and uses the same search name artifact as searcher. That someone is now changing shape into Azathoth. Yeah, <laughs> been a while, huh? You warm rungers still suck at provoking your enemies. Isn't that right, Tuscatli Poka? Azathoth. <laughs> I get it. You decided to zerg this portal right off the bat again. I mean, you must really have a stake for this portal, huh? Yeah! <laughs> As a sauce? Ark, look! Brother? Is, is it really you? What is going on? I've never seen this happen in the memories. What? But I thought we knew about everything that is going to happen in Tokyo. Aren't the world representatives of each of the world of the old ones out already? Confusion breaks out amongst the fighting forces of the warmongers. They are so confident up to this point. Don't be afraid. He's a fake. He has to be. Attack Luchadoras of the Sun. Don't let them get away of our lord Tezcatlipoca. Alright, let's do the battle. You lose, bitch, die! No, good. Well, that's fine. I can stall a bit more from here. Uh... <laughs> Uh, yeah, I know what to do. Don't worry. Give me that charge, baby. <laughs> he got totally slapped away. That's hilarious. La -da -la. Uh, da -da 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 -da. 
がしに続け我ら心臓が Oh man, I need to get more secure with Tango for Katara. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Oh, good. That's good. That's fine. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Can you not? What was that? Did he have like evasion or something? What was that? Explain to me. ごちゃごちゃ抜かすなまとめてこっち来なあっ Several warmongers rush towards Azazoth at the same time, trying to overwhelm him. <laughs> But the moment the wrestlers reached out to grab Azazoth. <laughs> With that wild laugh of Azazoth's, everyone's visions begin to blur and. <laughs> Experience hell, bitches! Get fucked! Suddenly, what was once a limited place seems to extend into infinity and rest was plummeted into that oblivion. This is where fucking Shido was murdered his damn ass fucking shit. Well, it's alright, we're using it as our own weapon now. The scene before you is one of the unbridled death, the scene that is carved into the black stone. This is Azasot's crazed court, his mouth of madness. <laughs> the floor of Azathoth's garden welcomed the intruders as their masters will direct. Oh yeah, I remember! This game's over for you, losers. Let's watch the insert replay of the bat <laughs> No! The plants penetrate their very minds, assaulting their memories. <laughs> Hmm? As Azathoth touches the minds of the warmongers, he notices something. What's this? Oi! It's a Sakatli Poka! You've only shown them fragments of memories, haven't you? This is like making them play some crappy video game that doesn't let you see all cutscenes if you don't buy the DLC. Yeah! <laughs> Alright, since I'm a premium streamer, I'll do you all a favor and show you the rest. No! Yeah! Their flesh feels no pain, and their wounds will be marked on their bodies. And no wounds will be marked on their bodies, yet their minds are being invaded. All together now! I welcome you all! To the Mouse of Madness! <laughs> God, I love that thought slap. The warmongers are blasted off into eternity, blasted through time. The world returns to normalcy. Where? Is this the workshop? Are we back? What was that? Looking around, you find that you're standing right where you were before your surroundings went haywire. It is an unusual feeling, almost like you had just woken up from a dream, however. <laughs> And an unnaturally empty space extends out from the center point where it presides as a thought. Only those of the warmongers who had tried to attack as a thought are gone. Hey, it's a Scatly Poco. I sent them back to your base. It's somewhere in the west, right? Their name it, or thereabouts. Yeah! <laughs> Teleportation, an ability possessed only by the old ones. What as a thought has done will not revert once the app closes, for the powers of the old ones exist apart from those granted by the app. That's right. Uh, they are able. Their sacred artifacts are just like independent of app usage or something. They always exist even if the app closes. The mouth of madness. It's just like Sasago's ability. Is that really Azathoth's artifact? No way. Are you really? <laughs> ah, you little pussyfoot cowards! Get the fuck out of here! Get the fuck out of here! The remaining warmongers step back after witnessing Azathoth's power first hand. 
Incredible! That was something. He must really be as thought sacred artifact. The scaly poker extends his arm, expressing a sense of shock that seems like a complete overreaction. What a twist! Who would expect the loser from the last match to return? This is why I love Lucha Libre! Mike in hand, Tuscatli Poker points his finger dramatically at Azathoth. But you can't fool me. The real Azathoth is gone. That's a fact. That information we shared by my guildmaster, after all. So who might you be? Tell me, Azathoth the second, or do I have to unmask you? <laughs> What's your deal, Tuscatli Poker? Why are you playing a different character every time I see you? Oh wait, never mind. You're just getting dragged around by that vessel. Must be real rough, always jumping from body to body. Well, you aren't wrong about that mask part anyway. I am an Im imitation. <laughs> an imitation? What do you mean? Come on, he's obviously right, come on. I'm not as his himself. It's like I've changed skins, taking on what was left behind here in Tokyo. But the memories left over in it are real, so by equipping it, well, I can use my throne. This secret artifact right here. <laughs> huh. I see. As long as you have the memories, you can use the secret artifact. And so... Not everyone can use the memories, of course, but if you're someone like Break, you can access those memories. And then you can use anyone's secret artifact, potentially. A skin left behind here? Then... Someone else is equipping it? Who are you? Eh? <laughs> you wanna know? Aha! <laughs> You want to know who the base character is? Who turned into me and then saved your new butts? <laughs> this one from Azazoth's clothing is ca cares about you very much. Uh, Wolf? Don't tell me. Oh, wait, hold on. Then where's the real Azazoth? <laughs> I told you, Ark. My count in this Tokyo has been terminated. Searcher, Babylon, and I completed our quests here. See, this game has a transient summon function where you take out your Visa card and put in the three numbers in the back, and then you put in at least $100 so that you can wail and make bad financial decisions that will haunt you for the rest of your life as you live out in the streets trying to suck a dick for more free transient stones. <laughs> Only pull with three stones, guys, unless that's the anniversary or unless you actually have a good source of income. If you're playing freemium, uh, then you should know why you're playing freemium. It's because you don't have an income, and then you shouldn't <laughs> buy those stunts. <laughs> and the terms and, c and conditions state that once you've completed everything, you gotta leave. Um, then you did complete your roles, just like Father said. But as a thought, if that's so, then why did you leave this Tokyo? I can understand Father, who found a path to pursuing putting an end to this never-ending world. Huh. So his role was that, and I guess he really believed that this would be the final loop? I'm not sure. Mother too, since her wish had come true of having a child. But you, Azazoth, what did you accomplish? That's what I was wondering too. <laughs> you know me, Ark. I like completing all the bad endings of any game. My goal was to get through all of the routes that lead to the bad endings. I don't like to miss even one. Hmm. This game was so much fun to play. There were a lot of bad endings. But I played through all of them. I completed the whole Tokyo stage, so the original of this skin is all maxed out. Hey, you! Yeah, you right there. Do you get what I'm saying at all? What? As a thought. Stop playing the fool. You're such a noob. <laughs> You're the type of gamer who picks every single wrong choice in every single possible scenario. <laughs> but even a player like you, once you know what options will trigger the bad ending in every route, even you should be able to avoid them, right? Right? I have no idea what you're talking about. So you mean to say... Huh? Oh. Damn. I forget you scrubs don't remember how the other routes went. Jeez, fine. I'll give you a big spoiler then. <laughs> I usually try and avoid spoiling people and all that, 
but I already got all the endings I wanted. So who cares about the game? <laughs> who cares about the game? Well said. Besides, I'm sick of these. Whoa, 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 what the heck? I'm sick of. Okay, what, what the Okay. Besides, I'm sick of idiots like you repeating the same endings. <laughs> Listen up. Forget the wall and the guilds. Forget about the sacred artifacts and transients. You don't have to think with that pea sized brain of yours, okay? Just know that they're all the same. The walls and the guilds are the same? Transients and secret artifacts are. <laughs> There's only one master rule you need to know to beat this game. Walls only exist to trap faith inside. Whatever belief holds a majority in the end wins. Faith and belief are just words. They're interchangeable with whatever speaks to you. Memories, information, light, anything. Hmm. All those fancy words like ranks and world representatives? They're all just tools. They are there to allow the master rule to function within the parameters of reality. The master rule? You remember the master rule that I just taught you? Well, sacred artifacts are vessels designed to trap beliefs, memories. And of all those vessels, the pillars that support the worlds are super special and can resist the great flood of time. Joking! Yeah! <laughs> Did you actually believe that BS? There are pillars all over the place! Look! You see pillars every day! As the south points outside of the workshop, following that line of sight, you can see the sky, and... The sky! The gates? Those pillars of lights are world pillars? There's one by the old school building. They're world pillars? How can gates be world pillars? So pillars don't have to be sacred artifacts. They can literally just be anything. They are literal pillars. Those are the pillars that bring light from the far reaches of Ether and trap it into Nether. Yeah! Ether into Nether. Huh. So there is something special about Ether and Nether. Uh, conceptually, it's not just some random throwaway term. Hmm. It's something that... Uh, pillars. Pillars and Ether and Nether are closely related. Those are the pillars that bring light from the far reaches of Ether and Nether Trap of Nether. There are special records from the loops underneath those pillars that not even the world representatives will possess. Oh crap! So there is information they don't know. <laughs> wow. Where the where the fuck did this Homer take? Is he is it really safe to tell all oh, this one Homer take is right here? There are rare memories of things like exceptions, and memories of folks nobody else can see at all. Is this referring to Kashuk records? Who knows if they'd be of any use, though? <laughs> <laughs> Memories of the Insane? Would that include... No Salma? Maybe getting a hold of those would give you a chance to beat the wall around Tokyo. Then again, we're stuck in this mess because nobody really wants that. Do they to Scatly Poker? <laughs> You'd really be telling all that information in front of Scott Epoca. That's the boundary, part four. Futile. Pointless. How dare you trivialize my vengeance? Don't tell me you're just happily trotting around out the heels of the prick who tinkered with your damn body. Hmm. Answer me, you cyborg louts. Depending on your answer, I'll... Running yourself ragged for revenge. How karmic. Cause and effect on repeat. You run and run, only to realize you're right back where you started. You've just been running all along the inner edge of a wall. Or even better, you're just a rodent on wheel. Get it? Hey, I'm on fire today. Silence, Vermin. Vermin? Me? Or... Wait, what? What is going on here? My bad, P.I. I guess I took a step over my buddy's line. The point is, we're no different. We're all just trapped inside an inescapable wall, repeating futile actions. That's why we go a bit emotional, me and my cyborg buddy here, both. Look, let me tell you a bit about our situation, okay? 
we weren't that bright, you see. So we decided to take part in a certain biomedical experiment to make us smarter. The goal was to gain intelligence that evolves at an accelerated speed, capable of keeping us with the time loops. Huh. Keeping up with the time loops. The result, it's safe to say, is that we became a top-notch genius. We are pretty proud, you know. And that said, at some point, we realized that after the acceleration comes a backlash. We felt like a rodent inside a cage, running in circles, looping around the same place. The experiment done on us was a failure. The backlash dragged our heightened intelligence backwards. It decelerated day by day. Oh. So the generation comes with acceleration. That fear of losing yourself, only someone who has experienced it could understand. We operate as a cleaner here in Tokyo while we seek countermeasures to the backlash. We are desperately searching for a hint that will let us escape this eternal loop. All the while running around in circles. What better way is there to describe it than futile? The cyborg stares out at the wall that surrounds Tokyo. We're not the only ones. Those who live in the future world of Utopia. Even those responsible for modifying us, they might be trapped inside the same walls, circling endlessly. Before you know it, you start to fear the idea of setting foot outside of the wall, you know? Put yourself in our position. Tokyo is guaranteed to continue looping, right? Then our deteriorating intelligence might go back to how it was when the time comes. If that's the case, the thought of staying put inside this loop circulates like poison throughout the mind. So, it was a failure in that it, it, they degenerated and also... I'm not sure if they can remember anything from past loops, but in the very least, uh, they are still affected by loops that reverses their degeneration. At least that seems to apply. The fear that breaking down the wall might destroy the peace of the world we live in becoming, becomes crippling. So we start to pray the world will never change, that an end will never come. We pray for repetition, for things to stay the same. Idealism sure turns into empty words, or maybe you're not. Maybe the hope for those ideals really does exist somewhere within you. But the actions we all take are those that will keep the hamster wheel of karma spinning forever. Some take actions towards that end, even though they do not wish for it. Others are intent to keep that loop occurring. Just like you say, I don't want all of that. I will not let you get away with that. Timber! Scally Poker jumps up to the corner post and executes a brilliant pose as he shouts. As long as I exist, our battle, our lucha libre, will go on forever! Viva Tuscali Poca, our Super Estrella, the great Ipal Nemoa Juani, who gives us life. You said it! We will continue our fight on this battlefield for all eternity! Viva la lucha libre! Homer Tigre's uniform transforms. Bands of rubber unspool from it to uncover the workshop like walls of spider web. Each strand begins to billow with black smoke, and in an instant, your view is clouded with inky darkness. Ha! Is a little smoke the best you can do? Iron Gaze Dragon! A Matsuma's sacred artifact opens its mouth to create a blast to blow the smoke away. However, the smoke dances out of the path of Gustavan as though it has a mind of its own, and behind it is a newly formed wall of rubber. My wind! It's rebounding? Ah! Amatsubara! No, the binding- the rubber is binding him! Amatsubara is blown back and becomes entangled in the web of rubber. Let me go! This is up! If you move around too much, she'll get bound even more tightly by the web. Huh? Hasta la vista, perito! The Scotty Poker charges through the smoke and the Lotto 2 is blasted away. The entangling one has now taken a hold of him as well. Zolotl! As if one were not bad enough, multiple Tuscatli Pokers emerge from the smoke. Bind them, my chains. Ah! 
Actually, in Sacred Artifact, it extends towards the Piscali Pokas, but. Not one of the chains finds its marks, but Piscali Koka simply disappearing into the smoke and reappearing elsewhere. <laughs> That's a tired old trick, Piscali Poka, making copies out of that black smoke of yours. That dark matter you're, you lot worship as the sunstone is none other than the shavings from your mirror secret artifact. It's what makes them smoke copies and controls them. You're just trying to throw off your opponent's aim, aren't you? I mean, I can't do anything useful if I can't see you on my mini map. So that's how I get it. That weird stuff is the core, the will that controls the clones and Homer Tigger's body. Then, if you can just do that, even if you can find it, I can't see you with all this smoke. We can't do anything like this. As you deliberate, a pair of figures emerge from the smoke. Mama, we are here to help. Talos! <laughs> yes, let's talk to Talos instead. Go, Talos! Get them! Affirmative creator. Talos, engaging. The black smoke dodges Talos' charge, and a web of rubber then entraps him. Don't touch the web, you'll be immobilized. <laughs> Talos, activate overheat! Affirmative creator, commencing overheat. The flames that course through Hephaestus' body also run through the ideal copy of that is Talos. Within Talos' mechanical body, a roaring inferno springs to life. He pulls the strands of the rubber web towards him, hugging them close, even as his body glows bright red with the heat from within. The netted rubber thread melts almost instantly in response to that heat. Did you see that, Mama? My creation! My Talos! <laughs> I don't I don't even know what to say. This is so weird. But let's let's give him what he wants, the, the cuckold. <laughs> that was amazing, Talos. <laughs> Jealousy! <laughs> the glare with which face suspense Talos was burning with mixed emotion. Thank you, Arzen. But please, bestow your praise on my creator. <laughs> <laughs> ah, hot, 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 hot. Wrapped up in several ends of the webs, both the Mutsmar and Zalata screech as the melting robber scalds him. Ah, it burns! Damn it, Hephaestus! We're still stuck in this stuff! I'm glad you're still alive, old man. I was worried. You're lying! Take better care of your elders! You, you get mad if I treat you like an old man. <laughs> you're such a pain in the ass. This isn't over yet. We still have to deal with that smoke. It's not like we can trap it. Any ideas to face this? Don't worry, Mama. We've got this. Huh. I get it now. Is that what you're after to face this? Do you mean? <laughs> his uh, fire sacred artifact? Which is I? <laughs> and Matt Tamara laughs heartily. Our reckless yet reliable youngster, come out this very own guild master. Where the fuck were you, Kudagani? Jesus fucking Christ. That which has that which has been lost since birth cannot be regained, and that which he never had cannot be attained. That is pure rubbish. We're here to tell you that on behalf of those who can't. We've experienced that which can't be seen with perfectly good eyes, and failed to reach our goal on perfectly good legs. On the other hand, we've seen arms that were lost grab onto things precisely because they were lost to begin with. That which was lost can be regained. What's gone can be remade. Craftsmanship is our way of life. Through that craftsmanship, we will grasp hold of the future. We are the crafters! There's nothing I can't grasp without with this hand. Take hold, construct of the gods! Kurgani's arm shines dazzlingly, and he grabs hold of the smoke that seemed impossible to capture. Whoa, Kurgani! Is that the power of the crafters? Through Kurgani's powers. The smoke is on. That must be Sunstone. Yeah! <laughs> now let's try this once again! As his thoughts tend to grasp onto the Sunstone, the fragments of Tuscatli Poka's secret artifact. This is not your time, Tuscatli Pogo. You just sit pretty and wait for your turn. 
<laughs> Don't worry, I'll send you whatever's left behind you to your forwarding address. <laughs> the light shining around that slot signals that he is about to use his power of teleportation. The glow illuminates the interior of the workshop. See you next expansion, Scrubs. Time to log out. GG. Wait, as I thought. <laughs> Please, I need to ask you one thing. You left Tokyo, didn't you? You all returned to your worlds, right? Yeah, I mean, they left Tokyo. I can tell you that for sure, but who knows if they went back home or not. Did you forget? This is just the skin, a costume change. How would I know where your family has gone? Hmm, I see, but that's good enough. This time, I'll go find, go and find them myself. <sighs> As a thought, you and Neil just came all the way from your worlds beyond that wall to become my family. So this time, I'm going to come to you. I'll finish up here and then go beyond that wall. <laughs> How can you say that if you don't even have the walkthrough? That reckless idiocy, that stupidity, is exactly what I love about you! <laughs> hey, you! Yeah, you over there. My supposedly unworthy something something. Spawn? Unworthy spawn? I guess you have a memory of me too. You've been asleep as long as I can remember. All you ever do is dream and then the game just passes by. What's with that character, Cork, eh? How did you get like that? What's wrong with you? You sleep through all the bad endings and even the end of the world doesn't wake you up? Get it together! See, as I went through the whole character creation process to, uh, father you, <laughs> I have a right to be concerned. I see, so we're one of his creations. Just kidding! <laughs> I guess we'll probably just keep sleeping until you unlock the real ending. But hey, I expect to see some action from you before the end game. Got it? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Here's the final hint. So long as you remember how you triggered all of the bad endings, you've just got to think real hard about how to dodge all that and get the good ending. That's just basic gaming. Who or what is your real enemy? Just Catley Poker here? The wall itself? Or maybe. I only get the basics of it. Next. But you're rooting for me, right? Uh, so I'll shoot for a happy ending. <laughs> Really care, idiot! As the thought cackles as though he has seen something truly hilarious. Who do you think I am? I am Entropy, the heart of darkness. I am Azathoth, the greatest evil. <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna miss laughing like that. As the thought disappears with a burst of laughter, sunstone in tow. Get the fuck out of here, Tuscali Poco! So called neutral territory. Wait, no, this isn't it. It's somewhere else now. Shinjuku. Dragonborn. 